Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about W Lambert function. One of the first things you need to know about W Lambert function is that it's a function that will surely be applied when you have a form of x e raised to power x, y e raised to power y, to the e raised to power 3 y square e raised to power y square sorry i'm calling it e you can also call it exponential all right in this kind of case you can apply the real Lambert function to it in fact when you have something like n exponential n you can see apply what the real Lambert function to it one thing you must take note is that the number here and the number here must be the same the variable here and the variable here must be what must be the same so if you apply the real Lambert function to x exponential e x your answer is x if you apply the real Lambert function to n exponential n exponential n your answer will be what n and so on like that so we'll be using one example or two and see how this thing works let me clear some space here all right okay now we want to solve x raised to power x equal to 2 all right now the first thing i will do here is i will apply logarithm to both sides apply natural logarithm to both side and that will be lean f raised to power x equal to lean 2 according to the law of logarithm when you have um, lean p x this return to x lean p all right so From here, I'll be having x, natural logarithm of x, equal to lean 2. Now, the next thing is to rewrite this here in the form of something like p exponential p. We want to rewrite s lean s in this form here. Let me use another color here. Okay. So, from here... I can rewrite this as I can rewrite this as lean x multiplied by x equal to lean 2. But recall that x can be written as e raised to power lean x. How do I get that? If you have 2 raised to power log 2 3 your answer will be what 3 in law of logarithm we have this kind of law there because e lean s can be written as e log base e of what of x which is equal to x okay from here if you apply w labas function to both sides you will be having s e s equal to lean 2 okay from here let me clean some space from here from here we have it as lean x e is to power lean x equal to lean 2 all right from here you'll be having lean s equal to the b lambda function of lean 2 okay for you to find the value of s recall that this is log e s equal to w of lean 2 then 
your x will be e raised to power w of the 2 and that is the final answer you can use wolfram alpha to compute your value thank you for watching kindly please subscribe to my channel share like and comment watch out for the part two